Hello, this is lesson number four for Varicard training. And this lesson is called Running Functions Inside Varicard. Uh, to do this, you have several ways. And the first way to invoke a function inside Varicard is to access to one of the icons that you have all around the working area, either in 2D or 3D. So easily, you just click one of the icons, for example, the circle center radius, and then you access to this command. Very easy. Um, as we saw in the last lesson, you can make configuration of this disposition of icons through the working area. So these are the ones that are set in my computer, but you can have your own configuration of icons. The second way to work with this call for functions is to use the pull down menus on top where you can access to almost all the commands. And as we saw also in, in our last lesson, uh, you can go to uh, a command. Some of the commands have uh, an arrow pointing to the right that allow us to access a sub-menu with more commands or in this particular case with more options. And in this case, you have this sub-menu opens a sub-sub-menu. So it's very easy to understand and it, it, it has different behaviors as the functions change. And either in the 2D or 3D side, we have several things that can happen. Uh, also in these pull-down menus, if we click in the Alt key of the keyboard, if and if you look to the menus, you see that um, it appears uh, an underline on the main uh, letters of each menu. That when is uh, appearing on the screen, if we you if we click on the combination with the Alt and the the letter underline, you can access the menu without clicking with the mouse. So in this case, I will try to, to select these parts, pull down menu. So I will do the Alt and the P on the keyboard. And as you, as you see, uh, the pull down menu appears on the screen. Uh, the third way to work with this is through this uh, command box here where we can write a uh, combination of letters, which is um, a shortcut to call a command. Okay? Almost all the commands have this kind of combination. And along uh, in our training course, you will see that every time we present a command on the theoretical lessons, um, we present also this combination for each command. So. Let's use one that you, you will believe me that uh, it's correct and you will see and you will learn the others along the, the course. So I will call the line command and the line command is called here with a L-E-N letter. So L-E-N that I write that I write in my keyboard L-E-N and then I will do enter and enter allow me to be in the command. Also in this command box, if we click in the arrow, it opens me the recent history of commands and I can come to one of these recently used commands, in this case, for example, the new, and okay, it allowed me to, to go to this command recently used. The last uh, option to work with these are through hotkeys and the hotkeys are a combination of uh, keys on the keyboard to access a command. For example, uh, I will go again to the line command and objects draw lines, line, and in front of the command, some of the commands, not all, have combinations. So in this case, the control plus L keys. So if I do this on my keyboard, control plus L, okay, again, line um, and this is uh, 
some some users, especially the users that came from uh, AutoCAD, are big fans of using a lot of dirty board, so we can use it here also. Um, this is possible to to define to each to each user, and we can do this very easily. If we go to the Tools menu and then see some settings, it, it will open this big, big window and then Shortcut Keys Accelerator. So here I will make Define Shortcut Keys and I will define a new one. For example, New Shortcut Key and I will do, for example, very easy, very simple a to Z letter, I know that the letter B is not in use, so letter B and I will choose a command from the menu and I can do, for example, let us do something that probably is not useful, okay, hydraulic symbols, it can be anyone, okay. Okay, this is already selected, so it's a warning, it's good to know that this is not possible, okay, so back Again, I will choose another one, so uh, I, I will insist on this, so finish symbols, I hope it is not chosen at this moment, okay, it is not chosen, so if I click on the letter B, it will open this command, so uh, I must choose here the control together and then OK, OK, and then OK, so control B, And you can see that the control B has an action that calls the command I make the definition. Okay? So, now, um, the other thing I would like to show you is um, how to finish a function. For example, I will do the line command again and you can see that when I start to make lines this is a continuous command that has no end so when I want to if I need to end this command or others I have several ways first I can go here to this toolbar and do the OK and it will end the command one way another way is to instead of going here, to make a click with the right mouse button. Again, this is another way. And another way is also, I will use again the line, to click on the ESC of the, of the keyboard, and in this case it will do the cancel, but it can, it can, has, uh, it can have another, another um, another function, okay? But basically these are the ways to, to deal with this. Um, another important thing that we should uh, look and use to, to see is that when no command is active on, in, on the program, you will have display on in this status bar this message ready because whenever you choose one command or whatever is it happens here, uh, it will appear some kind of message, uh, a message asking for something, okay? And this is what is waiting for the user to do. So it's important to know that every time that nothing is happen and the program is uh, holding for an action, this message should be here, ready, okay? Um, there is uh, something uh, also interesting that is the this possibility that we have here which is the undo and the, the redo options. Uh, so this undo redo, these are the possibilities that we have to go back in the, in the history of work in your file, okay? So uh, you've noticed that I've, I've drawn these lines and if I come back with the undo, let us see what happens. So it will go back one command and another and another 
So this undo will go back command by command until the beginning of the drawing or until the moment that the drawing was saved for the last time. So, but what what is good here uh, is that if I can be able and the and the, the arrow uh, shows that is go back, but I can go front again, okay, and <laughs> I I will go to the place, okay, no more. It I did not create anything besides this so otherwise he, he was predicting the the future the future sorry um so you can come back or go forward so and when you whenever you do save you will clean this history um one other important thing about this and if i go to the 3d side you can see that i have also undo and redo is that the history of this undo redo is separate even that you have just one file with entities on the 3d side and with entities on the 2d side this history is separate so you can come back you can go back here on the 2d and nothing is affected on the 3d side okay uh, the last thing i want to see and to explain you is about selecting objects okay so i will use a very basic function also which is this cross and this is a delete function so if i go to the delete you can see that automatically it asks me to select objects to make the delete and with the with the choice of the function um I have a new toolbar in my screen that allow me to select things through a variety of options. Let's try to explain a little which are the, the, the options we have. Um, with no selection of the options on this toolbar, then I can choose whatever I want. Okay? When I go over the entities, they will get highlighted, but I still did, did not chose them. Uh, I will do something a little different first. Or to help, I can do uh, something a little better, which is the I will choose one of the sample drawings from Varicad, in this case, the sample one, which has s different types of entities. And this will help us to see a little about this functionality. So again, delete, and then I have these options. So you, you can see that if I go over the entities, all the entities are selected. But I can make a kind of filter and, for example, say I just want to select lines. And now you see that the dimensions are not chosen. These particular type of entities, which we call edges, are not chosen. The arcs are not chosen, but the lines are chosen. Okay. If I go, for example, and see the edges now lines dimensions not chosen but the edges are chosen so this is a filter for these entities lines curves arcs or circles points whatever text dimensions uh, another possibility is to choose entities through windows and these are completely inside inside outside or completely outside so let us see a little about these possibilities for example completely inside so the entities chosen must be completely inside so these two dimensions here will be chosen and these lines black lines will not be chosen because they are not completely inside so you see only the things completely inside were chosen so other options inside is whatever whatever you cross so the lines I'm crossing sh should be chosen okay perfect and these two others are the opposite of these functions with the same philosophy okay I think it's quite easy to to work with this um, 
you can do this also by layer we still did not see what are layers so uh, we will keep this in mind for future lessons the same by color and by line type this is something that we will see a little up front on the on the course okay by object type and these are for the 3ds okay work sets we still did not see them also and finally we reach this area so when we want to finish the selection okay finish selection but we can come back for example this is a, a, a partial undo because we are doing the undo inside of, of a command so i'm selecting to delete instead of of coming to the to the undo and we we, we will see the the difference if i do undo here inside these lines here will be again deselected so let us try so i just walk back inside the command if i do okay now now this does not work because the command is not working but if i come to the undo outside the delete command okay it will come back it will um, bring me back the entities uh, that I, uh, I had deleted before um, let me just show you one more one more function which is I'm selecting things and I can click here saying hey I've, I made a mistake I don't want to include on the selection these entities here okay and the the program will turn the highlight the highlight off and just keep the others and then okay and uh, with this uh, the lesson number four running function functions in varicad is uh, finished so let us see on the lesson number five